glad you could join us on another trip around the world of the arts. Welcome, I'm Melinda Akinlami. Last week, we took you to Bochi State in northern part of Nigeria, and today we head south to Edo State, where an exciting exhibition is taking place. Then we come back to Lagos to enjoy a performance that emphasizes the need to take things easy. All this and so much more in a moment. I believe that the best learning process of any kind of craft is just to look at the work of others. Impressions from Benin Kingdom is an exhibition that captures the best bronze works and artifacts the city is renowned for. The sheer breath of creativity will leave you speechless. <laughs> The title of the show already sets the tone for the viewer. What makes Benin the city on everyone's lips when talking about art and culture, not only in Nigeria, but around the globe? Not just contemporary arts, it's a combination of contemporary arts and artifacts. We talk about the old and now and project towards the future. That is to say, we are blending tradition with modernity. These works seen in the Gems and Virtue exhibition gives the viewer a slice of the Benin lifestyle through one of its oldest cultural festivals, Ugye. It's uh, one of the series of exhibitions we always have every year during the Uge festival. And this is the third of its type. Last year we had Perceptions and Scenes. This year the title is Impressions of Bene Kingdom. The rich display of the pomp and pageantry of the Asian kingdom is seen in these bronze works, which explains what the Uge festival represents a celebration of prosperity and a time to pray for good tidings in the future. Igwe festival is part of the Uge festival. It's one of the festivals during Uge festival. It's uh, an activity that's been held over the years, over 600 years old. It's an activity to celebrate the end of the year and the ushering of a new year. It's a heritage the people of Benin in Edo State guard jealously. They have etched it in these works so generations will not forget that scale and ingenuity has been here for decades. This is an artifact. See the Obaho in the ceremonial sword, the Ada. And this is the Ebe. The traditional chiefs in Benin are only entitled to dance to the Oba using the ceremonial sword, Ebe. Why the Oba is only a title to this one called Ada. No other person can use this in Benin Kingdom. And in the course of performing these dances, it is expected that this sword must not fall from the chiefs or the king. You see uh, a magician here with a crocodile coming out of the nostrils. It's a sign of magical powers. Any time a chief dies in Benin, his head will be cast into a bronze like this and kept in the shrine. So many of them like this for record purposes. Most of the artworks in Benin were done for the purpose of recording history. That's why Benin art was referred to as a historical document. Any time the Oba is seated, if his hands are not heard by attendants, he said that he's resting on the altar of the hand like this, or you see one of the other hands holding a white handkerchief, while the other one is resting on the altar of the hand. But this is a peculiar altar of the hand, 
with the Oba and his attendants on top, with a cast of leopards and crocodile around him. Yes, these are also symbolic. These are traditional chiefs holding their title staff. Others, you know, fan, dancing, as to pay homage to the Oba. In order to add to the activities that they used to have in the palace in the days of old, like wrestling, the traditional dances, performances by chiefs, we decided to now start adding things that will interest the youth. We want to draw the youth into it by having art exhibitions, we invite skaters, bikers to participate, to engage our youth in the activities of the, the Igwe Festival. That they should take time out to visit museums and art galleries where the history of the people has been retold. A lot of people are not aware of what we are having here. The Uge, which includes the famous Igwe Festival, is also a celebration of Benin art that has put Nigeria on the world stage. <laughs> <laughs> 